Oh, good day, is that? It's May 8, DCS May 21. I'm here to do the ground attack mission day. And today we're using, on the inside pylons, pylons 1 and 2, you can see the KH-66 Grom. And on the other pylons we have uh, the 60mm rockets. And we'll just, we'll, I'll just walk you through now how to set up for the ground attack. So you're going to want this P uh, button here to go up, PKO. That turns on the little pepper, which you can't see at the moment because I'm ground mode. There's one here, and that puts up the fixed net, the target net. You don't really need this, but you know, it just I just like it having there. This turns the brightness up and down at the HUD. I think we covered most of this in the previous uh, session. All right now, to use the KH-66 Grom, it focuses on the radar beam. So your radar needs to be warmed up before this. So I think if I'm correct, it needs to be warmed up like three minutes beforehand. So you know, while you're cruising along, you you turn the radar into standby mode, and that sets the warms it up. While you um, warm up, after you warm up, you can then turn on to the focus beam. So the KH-66 runs on the beam riding um, capability of the radar. So the radar sends a beam out and it follows the beam over to the target. Uh, I should warn you now that this is not a very accurate weapon and it really should be used against very large targets like large shipping vessels or uh, uh, battleship type things. It's probably not particularly accurate against uh, sh ships of a small sizes or even tanks. Now, to actually engage the missile, we turn the knob over here to the infrared semi-active section. Sorry, correction, the S-24 section, because it technically is an S-24 rocket. Uh, I don't have it on, but if you actually remove the fins on the uh, KH-6, it does actually sort of look like the uh, S-24 rocket. So we're going to put on the panel 1 and 2 there when I start the mission. And we're going to make sure everything is set up. So we want this, this to be on ground mode far left uh, button here, and you want this to be on some active radar, it doesn't really matter. Now we want this to be on the lower half, which is the missile mode, bombardment mode, and we want the gyro to be automatic, and we want this to be shooting. Um, I mean, I mean, this is not an intense guide. It's just a really, just a quick guide to get used to. You can use the missiles really quickly. Um, I'll boot the game up now, and we'll uh, turn all the radar on, and then we'll get the weapons ready done. So. Radar's on. Brown clutter. This needs to be up. And focus also needs to be up. So now you get a beam. And once you point out a ship, you can just see the ship straight ahead. And you can see the pepper right there. You move that over target and you hit enter to walk. Now put the rockets on. So there you go. See, it's one, two. So now it's on pile one and two. Now I'll move it over the ship. So now it's locked onto the ship. You can change the size, but it's not just for demonstrative purposes. Right, launch. Make missile launch. Now your plane will list to the side it's not on. Um, oh, you see a splash. I think I missed the ship. Oh, no, I actually hit it. I think it's sinking. Oh, that's the first. Um, your plane will be massively out of um, balance. Um, there is a trim button, but I actually haven't quite got used to the idea yet. So for now, you just have to fly slightly off center. Let's go for another pass and get rid of the other missile so we're not out of trim. Oh, this is a steep turn. If you do want to change the size of the target, you do, oops, you do move this up and down here. This not move down. I can't find the other ship, so I'll probably just offload the missile. Ah, uh, no, it seems to be a signal set up. Oh, there it is. Right right there. Yeah, that's probably not. Now I'll just offload the missile onto empty space. So then again, once again, you'll see in the bottom that the radar and the uh, radar cone, you'll see that the, the, the line is basically, if it's picking up anything, if the line is fully extended, it's not picking up anything. As soon as you point it towards the ground, the line starts to dip. So once you've locked onto something, it will give you a little target icon in the center, and then you know you've actually picked something up. Again, fire a missile, missile's away. Now plane's come back to balance. Right. Let's unlock it. Um, as far as I'm aware, it's pretty much a fire and forget weapon. The uh, Acacia 6 will just fire where you've locked on to. Um, I don't think there's any way to uh, change the course of the missile in flight, but if someone can tell me, then. Uh, comments that'd be helpful. I don't think there is, but uh, it's quite primitive weapon. Now, while I'm doing this turn back to the target, 
I'll quickly let you know how the guns work. There are three charging handles. You just have to hit one and you'll get a bang. The weapon is charged. If the weapon jams, you can hit two or three. That will unjam the weapon. But of course, you only get two chances at this. So um, after the first one jams, you get two, it clears a jam, and then you get three, it clears a jam. I can't quite find those ships, so I'm gonna go cheat and find out using the map. Just like to my right. I can't find them, I'll just fire the rockets into space. I want to take this off the rocket. So we're not using the S24 rockets anymore. We want the, uh, the rockets on the left hand side position. And they're in pylons 3 and 4. If you remember correctly, 1 and 2. 1 and 2 is the inner pylons, 3 and 4 the outer pylons. So we want the outer pylons selected, which is 3 and 4 right there. Alright. I can see a ship now. Um, for those who are interested, the brakes, air brakes are C and D. C deploys the brakes, so for example, you can see it there, D retracts it, very straightforward. One sec. Alright, Pip is on the target, it's launch. Now it will fire in a control burst. I think I missed the ship entirely there. If you actually look at your target selector, it gives you the selection. That will fire a burst of eight missiles. So every every click of your, your weapon launch uh, key, Pickle will launch a missiles. Well, I'm going to go back to the turn on the ship and I'll give you a quick gun example. Now for the guns, you actually probably want the, the paper to be on the gun mode, which is this top here where it says gun. You want that to go up. So now your, your, your sight is configured for guns. Another thing, another ordinance, I use that in inverted commas, while we're here doing ground weapons, is the fuel tank jettison, which is this yellow thing here. If you press it, you'll jettison your fuel tanks. However, I don't think you can jettison the center fuel tank. It only jettisons the wing fuel tanks. Again, I might be wrong. I'm not overly familiar with those in the system. But so far, we uh, haven't been able to jettison the fuel tank. We'll find those ships again. I'm just set one of one fires if he's in the spot. I'm going to go back to the cheat sheet. The guns do sound great, by the way. Here, but they do sound fantastic, uh, if not as effective as the uh, NATO Vulcans, um, it, it sounds good at least, which is some redeeming feature. South, ah, there's a ship. There is a limitation to the visual spawn, I do believe it's about six kilometers. There is a mod that does um, remove the loading rendering distance. It's called the Extreme. I think you can get it on DCS form somewhere. Once it pips over the target, the trigger. Let's see, it's good hits, good hits. Overall, it's it, the weapon systems, uh, like the aircraft itself, is uh, fairly simplistic and straightforward. The, it, the difficulty is how obtuse the weapon system selection is, uh, rather than the, the BMS F-16 button where it goes air ground and it's uh, very fluid. A lot of it is coming to knobs, so you can see here uh, this is weapons pylon 1 and 2 rockets and then on the 9 o'clock position it goes up to the 3 and 4 pylon 8 rockets and then 1 through 4 with 4 rockets. So if you had theoretically if you had all 4 po uh, pods of rockets you can fire them all, each pod individual 4 at a time. The top one here is the S24 rockets and uh, all the, the regular missiles are here in the remainder from the 2 to 7 composition or so. Nothing too difficult. Um, again, just you have to flick you have to flick through. I mean if you really needed to to rush and uh, switch from air to ground to ground to air, it's, it will take a few extra seconds, which can be can be a bit tricky if you're in a dolphin situation, multi a multiple mission uh, frag that you've done. Um, I think that's actually everything. Obviously, don't forget to turn off your radar when you're not doing anything, because the radar does have a 25 or 20 minute limitation, because it, uh, to use the jokingly, runs off vodka. It is, in fact, an alcohol called radar. Um, well, maybe it could actually be vodka. Joking. That's a joke. But, um, I do think that is it. So, this is the ground attack tutorial done. Uh, if there's any more questions, just dump them in the comments. I do think I've covered most of it. I will, in fact, cover bombing uh, in both cluster and regular uh, iron bombs in 
in a separate tutorial. But as far as uh, uh, projectile uh, missile uh, ground attack weapons, that's pretty much it. Um, again, you won't get much success, I don't think, with the KH-66 uh, Grom. It's, it's also got very little blast, so overall it's not particularly effective. Um, it's a good weapon to use against big ships, as I said earlier. And kind of fun. I mean, that, that, that pretty much is one. The Mi-21 overall for me is a lot of fun weapon systems to employ. And the rockets are probably your best bet for gun attack. You know, probably load up your your pylons of four uh, rocket pods, either the S24 or the, um, the S16 rocket pods, and just go crazy. And the guns are pretty good as well. I think the effective range of guns is like 1k, maybe just under a k. Um, just don't forget to switch your your gun modes up up here. So you want gun, a missile, um, oh, sorry, and then your bombardment here, and, which is for ground attack. And uh, that's pretty much it. Alright, well until the next session then. Uh, this is Nate signing off.